This has become a familiar scene on the hit cable television show, Storm Chasers. Whoa, whoa, watch, there they go, they're gonna go in! The armor-plated Chevy Tahoe, known as the Dominator, drives into tornadoes and launches data-collecting probes. Much of the equipment is built by a local company. This is all designed by Hyperion Technology Group out of Tupelo, Mississippi. Hyperion Technology Group was started two years ago by several engineers. Since then, company president Jeff Carter has been busy helping design and install equipment for storm chasers. He has personally been in two tornadoes. It was kind of a rush, but it, uh, it wasn't anything like I thought it would be. It was just a lot of wind and a lot of noise. On most days, though, Carter is overseeing operations at Hyperion Technology Group's offices at the Renaissance Center for Ideas. The company also produces high-tech equipment for the United States military, such as a sniper detection system and sensors to detect bomb blast and other surveillance tools to better track terrorists in the field. Carter says there's never a dull day at his office. In the nature of the work we do, both with the Discovery Channel and, and with the military, uh, I like to say it's never the same job two days in a row. He also says early support from the Community Development Foundation and a strong workforce have been keys to the company's success. Everybody is, is uh, very well trained and very accommodating to the kind of things that we, we have to do. And a lot of times we'll call up a supplier and say, hey, we need something that'll do this. And they may not have it, um, but they're willing to figure out how to make it happen for us. So that's, that's been a big plus. Hyperion success means it has outgrown its current location. So the company will move here to the old Ad Lab building near the Tupelo Regional Airport. That move will nearly triple the company's square footage. And there are plans to eventually hire up to 10 more full-time employees. The move should be complete by February. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.